Here we are given a 50 newtons block. This means that mg is 50 newtons. So the mass is about 5 kilograms. It moves up a 53 degrees incline with constant speed. So it moves with constant speed. And this is 53 degrees. It moves with, with constant speed under the action of a 55 Newton's force. So we're applying a force of 55 Newtons to it. So if I apply a force of 55 Newtons, the block will move with constant speed. What force must act up and parallel to the incline for the block to move down the incline with constant velocity? or constant speed. OK, let us try to figure out what are the implications of the information given here to begin with. If I have an object on an incline, it's moving on the incline. If, if the incline is frictionless, the only force parallel to the incline is just mg sine theta. And it's down the incline. So mg sine theta is what? mg is 50 newtons. And sine theta, here is sine 53. Sine 53 is 0 0.8. So that's 40 newtons. So if there is no friction, if there's no friction, and I want this object to move up the incline with, zero velo with, with, with constant velocity, what should I do then? I must apply a force equal to mg sine theta. Because then the net force on it will be zero and it will be and it will move with constant velocity. So I must apply a force of 40 newtons. But in fact to get it to move with constant velocity I have to apply a force of 55 newtons. So I'm applying a force of 55 newtons. If the only force acting down is mg sine theta, then I have 55 newtons up and 40 newtons down. There will be a net of 15 newtons up, and the object will move up with acceleration. But the fact that it's moving with constant velocity, that means that the net force is zero. This tells us that there is, in fact, a force of friction, Fk. It tells us that Fk must be 15 newtons. For then, as the object moves up the incline, we have 55 newtons up we have mg sine theta down, which is 40 newtons. And so there must be another 15 newtons down, which are the force of friction. So because it's moving up, so the force of friction is down. So I have, I have 40 newtons from gravity, that's mg sine theta. And I have, I must have 15 newtons down, force of friction, and I'm applying a force of 55 newtons up. 
So the net force is zero. So from the first piece of, of information, I conclude that there must be a force of friction equals to 15 newtons. Fk is 15. That's mu k times Fn. And Fn is just mg cosine theta. So now I know the force of kinetic friction is 15 newtons. Now, what do I want to do? I want to apply a force up and parallel to the incline. I want the block to move down the incline with constant velocity. So now, we want it to move down with constant velocity. If it's to move down with constant velocity, constant velocity means zero acceleration. It means that I want the net force on it to be zero. Now, if it moves down, we know that there is mg sine theta down. How much is that? 40 newtons. We already got it, 40 newtons. So there's 40 newtons down. And if it's moving down, it means, now I know that there's friction. I know that there's a force of friction of 15 newtons. So I know that there is a force of friction of 15 newtons up. This is Fk. So to make the net force zero, I have 40 down, I have 15 up. What should I apply? I should apply 25 newtons up. So the answer is apply a force of 25 newtons. For then, force applied plus force of friction will equal to mg sine theta. So mg sine theta, this will be 40 newtons down. Since this is 15, all I need is 25 newtons up. Both the applied force is up and the force of kinetic friction is up. They add up to 40 and and they counterbalance the mg sine theta acting down. Thank you for listening.